Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this video, I'm going to solve problem number two of weekly contest 225. And the name of the problem is change minimum characters to satisfy one of three conditions. Let's read the statement. You are given two strings A and B that consist of lowercase letters. In one operation, you can change any character in A or B to any lowercase letter. Your goal is to satisfy one of the following three conditions. Every letter in A is strictly less than every letter in B in the alphabet. Every letter in B is strictly less than every letter in A in the alphabet. Both A and B consist of only one distinct letter. Return the minimum number of operations needed to achieve your goal. Let's see the first example. We are given A as ABA and string B as CAA. So here as given in the solution, you can satisfy three conditions, but then we have to minimize the number of operations used to satisfy these conditions. So first condition is getting satisfied by changing B to CCC. And as we already have a character C, we only need to change two A's to into C and the operations required to do so are two. And that way each character of string A will become less than each character of string B. So the first condition is getting satisfied by using two operations. Now let's look at the second condition. To satisfy the second condition, we can change both A's into B and this C into A. That way we will get AAA as string B and BBB as string A and each character of string B will become less than each character of string A and we will require three operations to do so because we are changing one C into A and two A into B. So total three operations will be used. The third condition is getting satisfied by changing B into A and changing C into A. So the total number of operations used will become two in third case. And the minimum number of operations are two obviously so the answer would be 2 for this case. Now how to solve this problem? So we will check which condition is getting satisfied by using the minimum number of operations. So we will try to fulfill each of the given three condition and then we will check which condition is using minimum number of operations. So first way is to approach this problem greedily but then we can get the wrong answer. So to solve this problem we know that there are only 26 characters and we can check for each character if we are able to satisfy any of the condition and then we can minimize our answer. For the third condition here, you can simply check the maximum frequency of a character in both the strings and then try to make the rest of the characters equal to that character. So in this case, if we were to satisfy the third condition, then the maximum frequency is 2 here for the character A and here as well the maximum frequency is 2. So we will need two operations to change B into A as well as C into A to satisfy the third condition. Same for this case here. The maximum frequency is 1 here. You can consider any character. You can either consider C, D or A. Two operations will be required to satisfy the third condition for the string B. And in this case the maximum frequency is 3 which is for the character D and you will need three operations to change A, B, A into D and total number of operations required to satisfy the condition 3 for string A will be 3. So 3 plus 2, you will need five operations to satisfy the third condition for this case. So third condition is satisfied by just checking the maximum frequency of the character and the operations required to change the rest of the characters into that character. And to satisfy these two conditions, you will need to consider each character starting from B to Z and try to satisfy these two conditions considering that character as the lower bound. Now let's try to satisfy these two conditions. We will try to uh, satisfy the two conditions using this example. Let's say you want to satisfy the first condition. That means you want to make each character present in A smaller than each character present in B. Now let's say you are taking the lower bound as A. By lower bound I mean you will need to make each and every character present in A strictly less than this character and each character present in B greater than or equal to this character. So 
if a character present in A is already less than A, you don't need to do anything. But if it is greater than A, then you will need to perform one operation. That means you will have to increment the count of the operations. Let's say we are keeping the count as 0 initially. And now let's try to check the first condition for the string A. Now you will find that the condition of making each character present in A strictly less than A will not be satisfied because there is no character which is less than A. So that means you will have to at least start from the character B. You cannot take the lower bound as character A. So let's say now we are checking for the character B and you have to make each character present in A strictly less than B. Let's check for D. As D is greater than B, you will need to perform an operation and the operation would become 1. A is already less than B, you don't have to do anything. B is equal to B. That means you will have to again perform an operation because you have to make each character strictly less than B. So the count of operation will become 2. Now A is again smaller than B. You can skip that. And then we are left with 2 Ds and we will need to perform two operations to make both the d's smaller than the character b. So total number of operations used will be 4 if we are taking b as the lower bound. And as I said, we will also need to change the characters which are smaller than b into characters greater than or equal to b. So let's try to find how many characters are we required to change. So as c is already greater than b, we can skip that. D is also greater than B, we can again skip that. A is smaller than B, that means we'll need to change this in a character which is greater than B. So the number of operations will become 5. So we will need to perform 5 operations if we are considering B as the lower bound. Now the same thing you will need to check for all the characters starting from B to character Z. And whatever character is giving you the smallest answer, that would be the final answer as we are required to minimize the number of operations. So this was if we are considering the first condition. If we want to fulfill the second condition, then we can do the same, but this time we will have to check the opposite conditions. That means all the characters present in A should be greater than or equal to B, and all the characters present in B should be smaller than, strictly smaller than B. Now taking B as the lower bound, let's try to find the answer if we were to satisfy the second condition. So as we have to make all the elements present in A greater than or equal to B, D is already greater than B, we don't have to do anything. A is smaller than B, that means the count of operation will become 1. We will need to change A into a character greater than or equal to B. B is already equal to B, we don't have to do anything. A is smaller than B, we will need to perform an operation and increment the count of operation into 2. D is already greater than B and again D is already greater than B. So total number of operations required if we are taking B as the lower bound will be 2. Now as we have to make all the characters which are greater than or equal to B less than B, let's try to check how many operations are required to fulfill the second condition. So C is greater than B, we will have to perform an operation and make it smaller than B. The count will become 3. D is again greater than B, the count will become 4 and A is already smaller than B, we don't have to do anything. So the total number of operations required if we are considering B as the lower bound is 4. Again as we have to minimize our answer, we will consider each of the characters starting from the character B to Z as the lower bound and then try to minimize the answer. And lastly, we can return the minimized answer. And we have already seen what we need to do to satisfy the third condition. So this is it for the solution. Thank you.